Hello, good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Trudy Ufundu of Snowspirations. I'm just checking in on our members and, um, you know, just pretty much touching base. And um, I hope we are doing great. I hope we are practicing the mantra for the group. Uh, and I'm just going to, you know, quickly kind of um, have an overview and a couple of reminders for our members. And the overall aim of majority of the people in our group is to become parents, to become a mother, to become a father. Now, just like everything in life, there are processes, there are steps, there are stages you have to follow before you can become a mother, before you can become a father. Now, I'm going to make factual statements with our sentiments. Because what I've noticed, since I started in 2015, I've seen amazing people that probably because of lack of knowledge, probably because of lack of perception and attitude and understanding, they go about looking for families the wrong way. They are good people, very blessed, already made mothers and fathers, but because they don't really understand and they are not able to practice, and their mindset and their practices and their belief system is entirely not in sync with realities of becoming parents, you begin to see them go through artificial man-made delays. Now, for every parent you see out there, there are two pathways they became parents, two pathways. Natural pathway, the man will meet with the woman, put the penis inside the vagina, at the peak of sexual intercourse, he will ejaculate. God gave you those sperm. God gave you those eggs to use in starting your family naturally. This is the natural way of becoming a father, a mother, naturally, without any help. But guess what? We are in the world. We are going to face challenges. So sometimes, some people might not be able to achieve that means of becoming pregnant, that natural way. Not because they cannot. Not because they don't have X. What makes you a woman? What makes you a mother? Is the fact that God gave you your ovaries, your tubes, your womb, your cervix, your vagina, your breast. This is what makes you a woman. Every girl child is a mother from birth. What makes you a mother? Your ex. God gave you ex from birth. So the moment God decided that your father will contribute the X chromosome instead of the Y chromosome, you are already a mother. Now, it's not about if you are going to be a mother. It's when you're going to be a mother. So, this is a reminder. This is a reminder to all girl child, you are a mother. Nobody can change this reality, this fact. What I share with us, it's science, evidence-based. No spirituality, no culturally correct statement, the way it is. Now for some people, because of some factors, number one, for the woman age, so unfortunately, as you're getting older, you'll be losing the eggs through the process of ovulation and some will just be not ready. When you get to 35, it begins to be difficult. This is factual. Now, because we're in the world, because we might not really find the right kind of partner within the time frame we're supposed to start our family, the best time for a woman to start her family is in her 20s. But because we have to be matured, we have to have enough resources because starting a family is expensive. We have to have something doing. We have to be able to take care of our kids. By the time you see your partner, you might likely be in your 30s. Some people might be 35. So the key word is, when you get to that 35, when is difficult? Remember, it's difficult. Difficult things doesn't mean impossible. There is no impossibility with God. Now, what you need to do and what you need to know, it's, while you're still praying to God, what is your own individual role? What can you do by yourself to make sure you position yourself so that when God's blessing comes, 
you will not be missed. The reason why I'm saying this is because I look around the group. I see the trend. Most people quickly go to prayers. Most people quickly go to testimonies, to baby pictures, to positive words, to motivational words, to inspiring words. Most people go claiming, it's my portion. God bless me. God, I wish. God is a good God. Even our earthly father cannot give a son a snake when a son wants bread. It's in the Bible. So God already wants you to be a mother. But here's the problem. So many of us are not doing the right things. There are so many women that show up. You're 45, some in 50s. They are not making love with their partner. They haven't seen a fertility specialist. They are not seeking help. They are using local helps. They are just praying. They are moving from one prayer house to the other, using olive oil from one prayer house to the other. Going to people that are using the fact that you don't have a baby to flip the narratives. Now, let's be real to ourselves. No one can give you baby except God. But there are three fundamental pathways you must follow in our group if you want to be a mother, if you want to be a father. Number one, we pray. We are the prayer-loving group. The reason why we are standing, all the stories you hear from our group is from God. This group got started by God. God has been with us. God did it in the past. God is doing it. God will continue to do it. So we pray a lot. Now we also play a lot. Playing in the context of my presentation is love making. Every 48 hours. Especially if you're 35 years and above. The thinking is very simple. Because the possibility you will not know when you ovulate. And because of the possibility you might have fewer eggs in regards to quality and quantity. We are not necessarily going to time our love making. Because you might not really know if you're ovulating the day you're telling your partner to come and make love to you. You might not really know your fertility window. So what we do, we increase the frequency of our love making. We make sure that at any point in time, we have available sperm in the vagina waiting to go and fertilize the egg why the question is why why do we need to make love for eight hourly because when the sperm is deposited in the vagina and that sperm is good quality so what makes a sperm good quality is a mobile sperm it can swim very fast it's a good looking sperm it's got a head a middle piece and a tail and also the count so if your partner has good sperm and he deposits inside your vagina, that sperm can survive up to seven days. But we normally use average of five days. So if you're a woman in your 35 or you don't have any predictability about your ovulation, and ovulation is all over the place, knowing that the egg can only survive within 24 hours. So when you make love and you increase the level of fresh sperm in the vagina, anytime the egg decides to come, the sperm can easily go and fertilize it. This is the simple thinking behind regular love making. So make it a point of duty. Now when you have said your prayer and you're making love and you're not able to become pregnant, the last P in our group is practice. Understanding that your fertility begins to deep at 35, when you have tried to become a mother, if you're 35 years and above, if you're praying and you're making love consistently, after six months, change your ways. Go and seek help from a fertility specialist. If you're below 35, 12 months, after 12 months, go and seek help from a fertility specialist. If we can do this diligently, if we can face our reality, if we are not just going to dwell in fool's paradise, you know, unfortunately, some people that are looking for babies actually see themselves becoming comfortable in their comfort zone of infertility. It is my belief that every single person hearing my voice this afternoon will do their own part. If you notice, I'm sweating. It's 9.54 a.m. in Florida. Florida is a very hot, hot place. Now, guess what? What I'm doing now, it's paying my own dues. I'm going for my workout for at least 30 minutes. When I come back, I'm off today. When I come back, I'm going to shower. Then I'm going to join my daily routine and begin to marshal out what I'm supposed to do today. 
this is doing my own part. When you pray alone, you cannot become pregnant. But when you pray and play and practice, you will become pregnant. By the special grace of God, by this time in 2022, we are going to have our girls, we are going to have our boys, we are going to have our twins, we are going to have our triplets, we are going to have our quadruplets. Nothing can stop us. Now, if you are having problems, where do you seek help? A professional. You don't go taking Clomid. You don't go taking herbs. You seek help from a fertility specialist. This is where I can help you. This is where my group can help you and connect you to care. And we have different packages that can help you. So I'm encouraging you, do not be deceived because in this era of social media, you might be looking for a baby and you come in and you forget yourself, you get distracted and you forgot that the year is ending. You cannot end 2021 the same. You cannot carry over your believing for baby category status to 2022. No, you have to be a mother. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Okay, so thank you so much. And when I come back, I'm going to continue my teaching. Today, we're going to look at prolactin. How can we naturally prevent women from having increase in prolactin level? Keep it there with me. It's going to be in our YouTube channel. And until I see you, God bless you and keep on praying, playing and practicing. God bless you and bye-bye for now.